All right, let's look at the markets. Uh, we see that we have a lot of volatility going on. Uh, you can see these days um, up, gap down, gap up, up. And these are major moves. Uh, so a lot of move intraday. Again, people are swing trading. Um, you gotta be careful with this one. So we wanna see if it breaks above this high, then we could come back and then we're pretty much just not trending. Okay, we're just churning, okay? Um, if we break down and believe it's low, we have this inside day and we break down below this low, then it continues to the downside. I wanna kinda just wait and see what happens. Uh, just one bar pullback isn't enough for me. Uh, especially during how this this price action has been active so it's, it's not like it's it's normal flow of, of movement it's, it's really been kind of violent so it's been you know bipolar for the last three days I mean you had up 160 down 250 up 160 or something like that so it's just like wow this is this is a lot going on so you just got to be very uh, careful make sure if you trade your setup you just know where your stop is okay uh, this is a game of either right or wrong and you don't need to wait to see how wrong you can be you know you'll blow your your, your, your account to smithereens doing stuff like that qqq again this could be the time but again it's it's not even below these uh <clears throat> previous pivots if you look at the weekly it's not looking bad on the weekly i mean it quite honestly it breaks above this high it, it definitely would look like uh it can go to the upside plus the volume is pretty high actually uh so uh if it breaks above this high it doesn't take much to, to launch it back up you can see that let me see if i get this candle it's almost like a, a hammer formation regarding the candle so if it breaks above this high it could be the buy for the for more upside so just keep that stuff in mind i, I didn't do the weekly for the spy so let's kind of look at that one as well um <clears throat> it's it's getting back so we extend this over okay we're getting back to previous pivots um, on the weekly and again a chart is a chart so if i didn't tell you this, this could be a one minute chart so that's how you got to view these things people use different analysis for different you know time frames it should be the same one with all if you're trading a tick chart uh, daily weekly monthly all the you should trade the chart the way you trade a chart with that being said um it's coming back into this one. So it's churning back in to this previous pivot, but we wanna see if it could pop above. If it pops below, we can wait for a proper setup. And it's still not a proper setup, but again, because this price action has been so insane. So IWM, uh, all of them are given inside dates, quite honestly. So it could be a gift for more downside, quite honestly. Um, just so we can see a break below this this uh, this low, stop above this high, we continue. I'm not even really worried about this as far as obvious support, but it would be nice if it does this, and that might be just a layup, is if it does this, comes down below this one, and then just retraces back up and gives it, you know, comes back up like this and goes back down, that's a layup. So you just gotta keep your, your powder dry and make sure the setups are correct to diamond. Um, look at the weekly the weekly doesn't look bad it's still not screaming bearish on the weekly time frame on the daily time frame it's just like i don't know where the hell this thing is gonna go and if you don't you just gotta be careful okay uh apple um just it's, it's like jesus you know you don't know where this thing is gonna go and again you can see that this has not had a trend for a little while so uh, if you're stuck in here, it's it's kind of annoying because you're stuck in this tight range of 103.75 and um, basically 98. So it's like what four or five dollars. You're just stuck between. So it's it's kind of annoying. Um, and you just stay clear and wait for it to break up, retrace or break down, retrace. You don't have to guess because it, if you guess in congestion, you could just get stopped out, and it's just easy for them to take your money quite honestly so uh tesla tesla is still not looking that strong i'm still in this trade so again i'm respecting my original stops and again you know it's easy to you know this is when i i bought you know around here so everything looked good around here so again i'm i don't know we'll see hopefully we can get a higher uh break of um well hopefully we could get something going on because the volume is a little weak going down here so we'll see what happens again if it breaks above this high i'll feel more comfortable it breaks below this low it's just going to stop me out and that's that's just the, the, the crux of it so um, again i'm not 
you know, some super trader that never gets stopped out. Those those people are usually not trading. So it's kind of you got to be careful with, with those guys. Uh, Netflix. Netflix is just hovering around here. We look at the weekly. You can see that it's still just churning. OK, it's still not giving any separation that we like to see. Um, it is giving some lower highs. So we want to get this. We would have enjoyed. Um, well, this separation was really good. Excuse me. Let me take this off. This separation was really good. You see that separation? Boom. Now it's coming back in to this previous high. And we got to just see where it's going to go from there. Uh, GoPro. GoPro is still crushing it. Again, uh, just be rolling my stop up, quite honestly. It just looks good to wait for some type of retracement to get back, to get in. Um, looks really, really good. Banking sector. Oops, I don't know who that is. Uh, banking sector. Um, little inside day, but again, I, I, I like a little bit more retracement, quite honestly. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how that one works out. Uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, yeah, it's just trading sideways for a little bit. So again, you know, you could take this trade if you were aggressive and say, listen, I'll put my stop below here. But right now you're just in uncertain type of territory. So you just gotta be very cautious of what you do. Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, my friend got stopped out. I told him to roll the stop up a little bit higher and he actually got stopped out around here. Um, because I, I thought it was going to go to at least 50, but it didn't. So again, we just have to keep looking at it. You don't, When you get stopped out of something, you don't stop uh, looking at it. Because again, this could be some good, you know, if it breaks, if it gives you a new high, the volume is really, really low. If it gives you a break above this high, it could go in and test that 50 area. So I got to do a little bit more uh, research regarding that one. But again, we if you feel like, I don't know where the hell these markets are going, you're not alone. Um, it's not the time again to just have activity for the sake of having activity regarding your training account. Um, and if you want to stand down, so be it. There's nothing wrong with it. So take care.